Morning, boys and girls. Welcome to the Cat Guy Show. Guy uses A words. <laughs> You're a tattletale. Well, you did. <laughs> I know I did. Cat Guy got mad yesterday at the Goodwill manager, and he's going to show you that in a clip here in a minute. But yeah, he went sourcing and went after some stuff that he's been trying to get for a while, and the manager upset him, so he used A word. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's naughty on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Yeah. yeah. Maybe my mouth should move when I say shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you for not making my mouth move, too. <laughs> yeah, all right, right. Anyway, Cap Guy had a really good day. We're going to show you that and what he sourced yesterday in the clip. And there you go. So what else we got, Cap Guy? I'll talk about it in a minute. Yep, his daughter did the baby reveal last night, and she was shocked. She didn't know. She thought she was having, well, we'll let Cap Guy tell you. Anyway, this guy. And I'm JT, and we live in Oklahoma. And I hope you enjoy the show. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And my mouth's not supposed to move when I'm not talking, Cap Guy. You got to get better at this. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I know. Well... Why'd the chicken cross? Never. JT, stop. Well, I had to have something else to say. That it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, folks, let's get on with the show. Thumbs up. Oh, never, just do what you want. But, yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say thumbs up because I'll get a thumbs down. But, hey, it helps my channel, too. So, by the way, I found my other Adidas hat. I love the de I love the old lo lo leaf logo. So, anyway, yeah, my daughter did a reveal last night. Had a lot of people here. Thanks everybody for coming. Thanks for Karen for putting it on. And um, she thought for sure she's having a boy, and she already has a boy. All my girls have boys and a girl, a boy and a girl. And uh, this will be number six. Hopefully, this is this is it. Um, but uh, anyway, she thought for sure she's having a boy. They did the little popper with the confetti. And she did not get it at first. And the streamers are going and people are yelling, oh, it's a girl, it's a girl. And when she finally realized it, she just started jumping up and down. And it got me emotionally because I was expecting boy too. Everybody had a guess for a prize. And I think out of the probably 25 people or 30 people that were there, only two guessed girl. And um, she wanted a girl and he wanted a boy. And, uh, but... She's having a girl, and she's tickled to death, and so I told her, I said, let's come up with some names, maybe like, you know, Man Mount Link or something, so, um, anyway, uh, I'm kidding, no, wouldn't, wouldn't name her that, but, uh, Tennessee, there's a girl and big brother, her kid, they live in Tennessee, and her daughter's name's Tennessee, so, man, that's a lot of spelling, that's a lot of spelling, but, uh, maybe Mississippi. That's a lot of spelling, too. There's a lot of crooked letters in there. But anyway, we're going to get on with what I sold. And um, and you'll see the clip on what I said earlier about the manager. Um, maybe I was wrong. Let me know. And then uh, if you think so. And uh, I don't always get riled, but sometimes if you do what said what he did, I, I just I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm going to say whatever I want. And I did. And... Uh, and as far as him escorting me out, that would have been even worse for him because then I would have really got loud. But anyway, Cap Guy can be a little tough once in a while. And uh, anyway, um, I don't know if I'm going to do a live tomorrow night or not. I'll let you know tomorrow morning. Uh, Y'all let me know if you want me to do a live. How about that? And then maybe we'll come up with some topics that you want to discuss or play a trivia game or music trivia um, geography trivia, history trivia, whatever you want, let me know if you want to do a live, and if not, then we'll move on, but, um, I appreciate everybody as always, and I'll show you what I sold, and then the clip will play, and that'll be the end of the video, and I don't want to keep it too long, so the cap guy will talk to you here in a minute to show you what I sold yesterday. All right, we're gonna go through this again. I already went through all these and realized I didn't have the phone on. I'm pulling a Nate, Drifter Thrifter Nate. Went to a yard sale and didn't have his video on. So here I am. Uh, this is a uh, Marshalls or Ross pickup back in May. I paid, I 
can't remember exactly how much I paid, but it was around uh, less than $3, probably more like 99 cents. Uh, it's an Adidas FIFA World Cup Russia 2018 uh, t-shirt, and it was a $30 original t-shirt. I paid, or I uh, sold it for $12.50 plus shipping, and I made about $7.69. I based it off of a, a number of comp that I had. This is a Power Ranger Dino uh, charger, Morpher charger, Spike, whatever. I know nothing about Power Rangers, but when I saw it, I grabbed it because it was odd looking, and there you go. I um, I paid 55 cents at the bins for this. It's the second Power Ranger toy that I've identified that I've found down there. Sold it for $29.99 plus shipping, and I made $26.01. The next is Harlem Globetrotters autograph ball. This family at this yard sale had a bunch of, uh, they had hoodies and t-shirts and stuff. As a family, they'd went and seen them, and they got an autograph ball. And they sold all the stuff for a dollar a piece just to get rid of it. And, uh, there you go. So a dollar in, I had it on the 20% off, 1760 sold. And that went to 12 by 12 by eight box. And I made uh, 1247 off the ball. The next is G Defy, Gravity Defy, or Vero Shock Shoes, size nine. Um, they do have a couple of small blemishes in the fabric. So not a lot of value, but I paid uh, 229 at Goodwill bin at the bins. And um, sold them for 33 with free shipping, and I made 1817 off the shoes. The next, I also found at the Goodwill bins, it is a kind of a geode looking natural stone, Ikebana, Ikebana, however you uh, pronounce that vase. And I don't know how you would use that vase. I'm assuming the person that bought it knows, but it's a dark and lighter purple color. It's pretty cool. And um, there you go. So, um, it is natural stone, and I paid a um, dollar for it based on weight at the bins, and I got an offer yesterday of 30 plus shipping, and I took it and ran because I only had a buck in it, and I made 25.57. The next is a vintage Travelers by Country Gentleman, flat cap, kind of a newsboy, ascot, whatever you want to call it, and it's a leather one, seven and three eighths. I got this at the bins for 18 cents, sold it for $10 plus shipping. And on that, I made eight, uh, no, what did I make? 12.22, I made some on the shipping. The next, I paid a quarter for at a yard sale where I got a bunch of VHS a few months ago, back in, I think, May. And it's a 1998, still has the tag on it. The tag's almost ripped off, but it's still there. And uh, Mr. Scooby-Doo and his PJs, I paid a quarter for it. I sold it for... Um, Thirteen fifty-two, and I made eight thirty-nine profit off of it. The next I bought Saturday at a yard sale. It is a, a champion Boston Celtic Larry Bird jersey, size fifty-two, which would be about an XL. And there you go. If it had been a two XL, it would have stayed in the house because I used to love Larry Bird, and uh, well, I still love him, but I just he he ain't playing anymore. And um, I got an offer of sixty bucks off of it, so I took it and ran. I had ten dollars invested. And I made forty-two fifty-six off that quick flip. The other one I picked up a couple of weeks ago at a yard sale for two dollars. It is a stitched as well jersey, Fred Taylor Jacksonville Jaguars by Reebok. Paid two bucks. I sold it for twenty-nine dollars plus shipping, and I made um, twenty-one twenty-two off that jersey. The next is a lot of CDs, Chicago, twenty-five or six two four. There you go. Man, that was bad. Anyway, I paid a quarter a piece for these. I sold these for $40 as part of my 20% off sale. And off the Chicago CDs, I made $32.36 profit. Another good find. I bought several of these for a dollar a piece at a yard sale recently. A couple months ago, I've sold one so far. This is the second. I think I have two or three left. It is a blue and white with a gold uh, polo rider, size XL, uh, Ralph Lauren rugby style shirt paid a dollar, sold it for 18 and uh, on a best offer and made 14.41. That went a flat rate. And then the last thing I sold, I paid a buck for uh, back in the late August. And there you go. Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson, Maryville, Gatlinburg, Tennessee from 2005. Single stitch too. Um, paid a buck, sold it for 15, 
plus shipping and I made 1243. So on the day I had uh, 12 sales, $24.35 in cost of goods, 30611 in sales. And my profit yesterday off 12 sales was $233.50. I will take it all day long. Y'all have a great day and a cap guy will talk to you tomorrow. All right, I went to Goodwill's. I got in a confrontation with the manager at the first one. I've, I've known for several days from a tip that there was some Nintendo 64 stuff in the back. And uh, I've been asking and nobody would give me any information. I went in there this weekend again on the second time. And well, the manager won't bring it up here. Uh, the big boss ain't here. So I went in there again today, still wasn't out. I asked to see the manager. He came out, and he's not the manager. He's the assistant manager. And I asked to see it. He said, well, I can't sell it off the floor. That'd be showing favoritism. Um, a lot of other managers do it because they're trying to make sales. Um, I said, I don't necessarily want to buy it. I just want to see it. I'm not interested in the console. I'm interested in the games only. See if there's anything I want, and then I'll come back. Do you know when you're going to put them out? Well, I'm working this stuff, but I don't know when it'll be. So you can't tell me, no. And when he did that, I got upset. And I so I just said, hey, can I, can I get your regional manager's name and number? And I normally don't act like that, but he got to me at that point. And, I, and he said, absolutely not, and turned his back on me and walked away. And I called him a name that starts with an A and ends with an E. So I'm surprised he didn't escort me out, but anyway. Uh, sometimes a cab guy can be riled, so there you go. All right, I might be wrong in this. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but anyway, I found this while I was there. And as you can see, it caught my attention because it is a cuckoo clock. And then I saw this, and that name brand, they're listed comps, not sold comps, for $425. And it says it is a Swiss... Uh, cuckoo clock. It's got the the weights and everything. The only issue is right here on the corner of the shingle or on the house. You can see the other side. It's got a very, very nicked chip. Now, sold comps on this, the ones I saw were between 55 and 75. I paid 1090 for this with tax and everything. So I'm going to see what I can do with it. Even for parts, it sells really well. Um, I'm going to do some more research and figure out why there's a disparity between 55 and 75 and $425. Um, but I will do that. And so then I ran to the other Goodwill that's south of me and I found these for 232. This is Justin Boots ball cap and it's brand new. There's the paper still in it. The other one needs a little cleaning up, but it is a Spurs and it's new era. And then it's got this on the back. And then it's got that. So that made it really cool to me. It needs some cleaning up. It's hardwood classic, so 232. I decided to look for jerseys and things that didn't have any. So I started looking at t-shirts and I found a few. I turned a few down after I did the comps. This one's a Gildan tag. Viva Las Vegas, thank you very much. It is a large, so that'll probably end up with my mother. Um, again, her birthday's Sunday. This one I grabbed just because of what it is. And it's actually, it's not on a screen printed tag. It's on a Fruit of the Loom tag. So I'm going to look that one up and see what it's worth. Um, I'm going to save the best for last. This one I grabbed because my daughter's a big horror movie fan. And it's got a little bit of stain on the inside. It is screen printed the neck, so it's not vintage. But again, it's a horror movie, you know, Freddy. Freddy Krueger. But this one, when I saw it, I took a second look. I saw the Anvil tag. And then I saw this, and we know what just happened with this Washington team. And then I looked at it a little closer. It is single stitch, and it is 1993. Oh, that didn't show you the date. Never mind. That showed you it was Warner Brothers. There you go. No? Which one is showing the year? Oh, that first one did. Okay, 1993. Right there. And, uh... And it is single stitch. So I didn't cop it. When I see stuff like that, 
I grab it. So there you go. I spent $19 and the t-shirts were $3.33 each. The hats were $2.32, so I spent $19.54. And there you go. There's what I sourced today. On And I didn't know the post office was closed. I got there and I was like, why are the doors locked? Somebody said, well, it's Labor Day. And I thought, it's awful late for Labor Day. And then I thought, no, it ain't Labor Day. And then I was informed it was Columbus Day. So, luckily, my packages weren't of big value, and they went into the bin, and they all went into it. Three of them were in shoe boxes, and the rest were smaller, 8 by 6 by 4 or envelopes. So, they're all at the post office. They just didn't get scanned today. But that's okay, because they don't have a lot of value anyway. So, And they've been doing a good job, knock on clockwood. Y'all, talk to you in a bit.